Namaskar, this is Tabasso Maranjo. Welcome to the Samavesh podcast. Our guest on the podcast today is Mr. Rajiv Mehta, trustee of Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust, Mumbai. Welcome, Rajiv ji, and thank you for joining us on the podcast. My pleasure, and thank you, Tabasso ji. Today, we will focus on the education initiatives of Ratnanidhi. In this digital age, where reading has become a scarce habit, Ratnanidhi promotes and cultivates the reading habit in children, even in the remotest area of the country. Under his flagship project of Mission Million Books, Ratnanidhi has undertaken a project called Sapnoka Pitara, which is nothing but a mini library hanging from the wall and which opens up the children to all imagination and knowledge. Sir, can you please tell us more about this initiative? The Mission Million Book Project is about donating educational books to schools and colleges pan India. Since it started in 2016 in a very, very organized manner, so far Ratnandi has donated 1.2 million books to more than 5,000 schools and colleges from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Nagaland to Gujarat. So instead of student going to library, why don't library come to student? So we started a project called Sapnuka Pitara, which is actually a classroom library. There is no floor space required. A high quality cloth is used to make a sturdy wall hanging with two nails in the wall. It is can be hanged in four sections. About 20-25 books of children are kept. We are setting this such uh, Sapnuka Pitara in classrooms where in different age groups of students their types of books are kept. So what you may see in 6th, 7th standard student books will be different in Sapnoka Pitara than what you may see in kindergarten. So that it is curated as per their age group and their requirement. The affinity to borrow books is much more. They themselves can touch and feel. They don't go out from their classroom. So they will end up spending recess time there. If they come early, they can pick up a book and read also between two so, uh, tuition, if teacher is coming late, they can also pick up a book that is left to the school principal. But this we have started now and I believe we could be looking at around 10,000 such classroom libraries in 10,000 classrooms across length and breadth of Maharashtra, Bombay and India. We all know that hunger can lead, lead to a loss of concentration and uh, also lead to a dropout from school from children who are uh, unable to study and concentrate and perform well because of hunger. Ratnanidhi addresses this issue through its Food for Education project in which it serves free homemade food cooked in its own kitchen to across schools where students from low income families study and where there is no aid from the government in terms of midday meals. Rajivji, this is a ongoing project and with no completion date. So, can you please uh, tell us more in detail about this project? Apne mein kawat hai, bhukhe pet vidya nahi aati hai. These children come from the houses where both father and mother are working 16-18 hours a day. They are out. They don't have enough money to pay for the food of their own children. If because we are giving food, they are willing to send their children to school, Otherwise, they would be at home or coming into bad habits and going to a different direction in life. Children are going to school because they get hot meal of the day in the school and possibly the only hot meal. Parents are happy because the child is studying. Child is happy because his stomach is full and then he can focus on studies. And teachers are happy because they get attendance. It's a win-win situation of uh, everybody. And we end up today cooking our food for 3,000 students every day and they are delivered in multiple locations in Bombay from our kitchen by our own delivery van and one higher tempo to 18 schools and 5 community centers where children from other schools come and study on a every day 
225 to 240 days a year. Since past many 15 years, the project undergoes. And it's a beautiful project. When you see the children eating the food, with the smiles on the faces, they are waiting for food to come. So every day the route map is defined. Which school, what is the recess time, when the food has to go. So that during the course of the day, from 8.30 onwards till 1.30, all the schools are delivered food, hot food at that particular recess time. Vision is a very necessary prerequisite for a good performance of a student. Uh, most students do not even know they have a vision impairment till there is a check. And for families who come from the lower income groups, there is no money to spend on an eye check. So what happens is the child does not perform well in school and ultimately drops out. This is a one of a kind project by Ratna Nidhi, which is called Vision 1 Million, in which SLR spectacles are distributed to children with vision impairment after conducting vision camps in the schools. Sir, please tell us more about this project. So, SLR Luxottica is the world's largest manufacturer of spectacle lenses. Chrysler, Verilux, Ray-Ban, these are brands sold in India. These brands are all owned by a French company called SLO Luxottica. Ratanji Trust has become one of the world's largest global charity partner, SLO Luxottica, and we have imported huge quantity of lenses from SLO Luxottica. Now we are doing vision screening in all the schools in the state of Maharashtra. We also MO with government of Maharashtra, which we did in 2019 and now renewed again in 2023 to do a screening of a million school children in government school, municipal school and private low income schools. So, optometrists go to the school, do the vision screening with high quality instruments, give us the prescription numbers. We make the spectacle using the lenses what we are given. So there are spherical lenses, cylindrical lenses and bifocal lenses. As per the requirement, we have to cut and guide some of the lenses, fit them into frame, take them as per individual student's number, pack them into plastic boxes and then we give to the school. Now many of the students can't read on the blackboard, can't read the textbook, they, everything what they see is out of focus. As a result, they keep on failing for 2-3 years, their self-esteem, confidence goes down, they become a person of ridicule in their school peers and parents or teachers think oh, man buddhi ka ladki hai, man buddhi ka ladka hai. Oh, man buddhi ka nahi hai. We don't even know the issue is vision correction. So when we do vision correction and you give the spectacle of what you and I are wearing, same quality prescription, custom manufacture glasses to each of the student, it just changes how they look at the world and how the world looks at them. They are able to see well. They understand what teacher is writing on the blackboard, are able to reply their arithmetic, mathematics and all the questions. All the friends, they earn the respect of their friends and family and they pass their exams with good grades. It changes the future of the child by giving such high quality prescription glasses. So thank you very much sir. Your team is doing an excellent job and uh, there are lots of one of their kind initiatives in the area of education. I'm sure it has helped a lot of children in, and in promoting education in a country like India. And may God bless you for all your endeavors. We wish you all success. Thank you so much and thank you for this opportunity as some ways to share the small stories of change, what is possible. And I believe it can be heard by more and more people who could join to give small portion of their time and effort to make future of India better and brighter. Thank you so much. Thank you.